Ever thought of increasing your productivity by learning keyboard shortcuts? Picture this. You're racing against the clock trying to finish a project. Your mouse is slowing you down, but what if you could navigate your computer swiftly using just your keyboard shortcuts? Today, we'll be covering shortcuts for three major operating systems, Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Each has its unique set of shortcuts designed to make your life easier. So, are you ready to dive into the world of keyboard shortcuts? First off, let's start with the most commonly used operating system, Windows. Windows, a household name, is renowned for its user-friendly interface and keyboard shortcuts are part of that charm. By mastering these shortcuts, you can ramp up your productivity and navigate your way around your computer with ease. Let's start with some general shortcuts. These are your bread and butter, the ones you'll be using day in and day out. Copying text or an image? C tile plus C is your friend. Need to cut instead? That's where Ctrl plus X comes into play. And of course, to paste, you'll want Ctrl plus V. Made a mistake? No worries. Ctrl plus Z has got your back for undoing, while Ctrl plus Y is there for redoing. Selecting everything on a page is as simple as Ctrl plus A, and finding something specific is just a Ctrl plus F away. Saving your work is crucial, and that's where Ctrl plus S comes in. Need to print? Ctrl plus P is your go-to. And finally, to open a new file or window, just hit Ctrl plus N. Now, let's move on to navigation shortcuts. These are all about getting you where you need to be, quickly. With Alt plus Tab, you can switch between open apps or windows. The Windows key opens or closes the start menu, while Windows key plus L locks your PC. To close the current window or application, use Alt plus F4. If you need to show or hide the desktop, Windows key plus D is your shortcut. Ctrl plus S key also opens the start menu, and Alt plus F opens the file menu in some application. Next up, we've got File Explorer shortcuts. These are all about managing your files and folders. To open File Explorer, use Ctrl plus E. To create a new folder, it's Ctrl plus Shift plus N. To go up one level in File Explorer, use Alt plus Up Arrow. Renaming a selected item is as simple as pressing F2. And if you need to open Task Manager, Ctrl plus Shift plus E C is your shortcut. Finally, if you're using Windows 10 or later, you've got access to virtual desktop shortcuts. These are all about managing your workspace. To view all open windows or access Task View, use Windows key plus Tab. To create a new virtual desktop, it's Windows key plus Ctrl plus D. And to switch between virtual desktops, use Windows key plus Ctrl plus left or right arrow. And there you have it, some essential keyboard shortcuts for Windows users. These shortcuts are power-packed tools to elevate your Windows experience to a whole new level. By internalizing these, you can navigate your way around your PC like a pro, save time, and enhance productivity. So go ahead, start practicing these shortcuts and let your keyboard do the magic. Now let's tackle the shortcuts for all the Apple lovers out there. We'll start with the general shortcuts that you'll probably use most often. The command key, represented by CMD, is your best friend here. To copy, cut or paste, use CMD plus C, CMD plus X and CMD plus V respectively. Undo and redo actions are as easy as CMD plus Z and CMD plus Y. Want to select all find, save, print or create a new file or window. Just use CMD with A, F, S, P or N. Now onto navigation. Switching between open applications can be done with CMD plus tab. To search for files, apps and more, open Spotlight with CMD plus space. If you want to hide the active application, use CMD plus H and to force quit an application, it's CMD plus Option plus SC. Let's move on to file management. Creating a new folder in Finder is as simple as CMD plus Shift plus N. To move a selected item to trash, use CMD plus Delete. To empty the trash, it's CMD plus Shift plus Delete. And to go to the parent folder in Finder, just press CMD plus up arrow. Next up, window management. Closing the active window is done with CMD plus W. To minimize it, use CMD plus M. If you want to close all windows of the active app, that's CMD plus option plus W. And to hide all other applications except the active one, press CMD plus option plus H. Now, let's talk about Spotlight. Uh, as mentioned earlier, you can open Spotlight with CMD plus space, but did you know you can also open the top result in Spotlight with CMD plus Enter? It's a great way to quickly open that top search result. Lastly, we'll cover screen capture shortcuts. To capture the entire screen, press CMD plus Shift plus 3. If you only want to capture a selected portion of the screen, it's CMD plus Shift plus 4. And if you're looking to capture a specific window, press CMD plus Shift plus 4. 
than space. That's a lot to remember, isn't it? But don't worry. With a bit of practice, these shortcuts will become second nature and you'll be zipping around your Mac like a pro. Remember, shortcuts are there to make your life easier. They can save you time and make your computer work more efficient, so give them a try and see how they can improve your productivity. That wraps up the major keyboard shortcuts for Macus. Finally, we'll delve into the shortcuts for Linux, the choice of many developers and tech enthusiasts. If you're already using Linux or considering making the switch, these keyboard shortcuts will help you become more efficient and productive. Let's start with the basic shortcuts. These are the keystrokes that you'll use regularly, no matter what you're doing. The Ctrl plus Z's command terminates the current process or command. Ctrl plus Z suspends a process, while Ctrl plus D logs you out or exits, depending on the context. To pause terminal output, use Ctrl plus S, and to resume, use Ctrl plus Q. Now, onto file management shortcuts. Ctrl plus R opens a new file manager window. To close the current file manager window or tab, use Ctrl plus W. You can create a new folder using Ctrl plus Shift plus N, and to rename a selected file or folder, just press F2. The terminal is an essential tool for Linux users, and there are several shortcuts that can make using it a breeze. To open a terminal window, use Ctrl plus Alt plus T. Ctrl plus Shift plus T opens a new tab in the terminal, and Ctrl plus Shift plus W closes the current tab. To clear the terminal screen, use Ctrl plus L and Ctrl plus R allows you to search through your command history. Linux's desktop environment also has a host of shortcuts. The Super Key, also known as the Windows Key, opens the Application menu. Alt plus Tab allows you to switch between open applications. Alt plus F4 closes the active window and Super plus D lets you show or hide the desktop. Finally, we'll look at text editing shortcuts. These are applicable in text editors, terminals and other places where you need to manipulate text. Control plus C copies selected text. Control plus X cuts selected text and Control plus V pastes copied or cut text. Control plus Z undoes the last action and Control plus Y redoes the last undone action. Control plus A selects all text and Control plus F allows you to search for text in a document or window. Remember, just like any other skill, mastering these shortcuts takes practice. But once you get the hang of it, you'll see a significant boost in your productivity and efficiency and who knows? You might even impress a few of your tech-savvy friends with your swift navigation and command of Linux. Those are some handy shortcuts for Linux users to boost their productivity. Make sure to try them out and see the difference they can make in your daily computer usage. So we've covered a lot of ground today. We've journeyed through the keyboard shortcuts for Windows, MacOS and Linux. Whether you're copying and pasting text, navigating between open applications or managing files, these shortcuts are your toolkit for efficiency. Don't forget, the more you use them, the more natural they become. So don't wait, start boosting your productivity today. Thank you for watching. Remember, practice makes perfect. So start using these shortcuts and increase your productivity until next time.